Sasha Peterson, a vegan from Australia. So, I mean, you already know that description alone is a scary thought. Animals want to live just like us. Yeah, this woman don't f about. Just standing in the middle of a Pat McDonald's with a tits out painted like a cow. You just got to admire the confidence, really. Just saying you don't see a vegan teacher with this level of commitment. Yeah. These animals wanted to live just like us. If you're buying animal flesh and secretions, you are paying for their murder. Ugh. Me. I just can't help but think if a man did that with his cock out, he's getting put on the sex offenders list, isn't he? She's essentially just walked into a school with a tits out. It's just full of kids. Every time you eat their bodies, their milk, their eggs, you are paying for animal abuse, torture, enslavement. Oh, you fat little shit. You can't even wait two minutes for his food without fucking eating something. He's got a fucking waiting snacks. That's mental. Snacks specifically for waiting. <laughs> paying for animal abuse, torture, enslavement and murder. I can't believe she's decorated its tits. Fucking turn them into movies. Could you slit their throat yourself? Probably not. <laughs> did you wear the little yeah? She didn't expect to wear that, did she? She heard a yeah and was like, probably not. <laughs> Why are you paying someone else to do it? Watch Dominion on YouTube and see the truth. Animals want to live just like us. You see, this is why Australia is so separated from the rest of the world. They're just fucking mental. She makes vegan tea. She look like a normal vegan. Like a singing seems normal now. Eating animals is wrong. McDonald's hurting animals is wrong. Yeah, no, it's still fucking awful. I don't know why I said that, actually. Is your Christmas going to be a holocaust filled with the bodies of murder victims? God, I just, uh, like, it's a lot. In it. Like, she needs psychiatric help. She's fucking, she's lost it. Every year, trillions of non human animals are brutally murdered. I just like the abuse she's getting from everyone in the background. Everyone's just like, fuck off, go home. <laughs> Meals in the meat, dairy, egg, leather, wool. Fucking shut up, Jesus Christ. Fur and animal entertainment industries and other industries that abuse and murder. Animals. This woman's like an X-rated vegan teacher, isn't she? Like I was doing some research on this woman. I said research. I just typed in a name on Google and like a list of shit that she's done popped up. And fuck me, she's done a lot. Like on this fucking website, there's literally a section dedicated to controversy. <laughs> in February 2021, she got banned from TikTok for a controversial videos about veganism. She stated that she started being active on the platform for over a year and believe it's an incredibly powerful platform to reach millions of people. I mean, yeah, it is, but it doesn't justify you getting your tits out in front of children, does it? When her account got banned, she had about 157,000 followers and her videos averaged between 50,000 and 100,000 views. I mean, yeah, I feel a pain, kind of. I had roughly around the same amount of followers as that and I was getting millions of views and they fucking banned me and I'm nowhere near on the same level as this fucking psychopath. I call out the shit that should be fucking banned and then they ban me for it. Unless you're lip syncing songs or doing stupid fucking dances, you're getting banned on TikTok. So to be honest, her being banned on TikTok was fucking expected, wasn't it? Banned from places with a liquor license. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so she's preaching veganism and she's a piss said no surely not on july 1st 2021 she got a letter by the western australian police which it said that she is a threat to different individuals and psychology of animal product consumers the letter also said that she was banned from every place that has a liquor license in the state of western australia due to her constantly being drunk at those places like how bad do you have to be to be banned from every single fucking place that sells alcohol in western australia fucking well done congratulations because that's some serious fucking achievement <laughs> she's probably turning up to the bars ass naked every single night painted as a different fucking animal you can imagine it, can't you? Oh, fucking hell, here comes Tash. Which one's Tash? The one dressed as a fucking pig. It shouldn't be too difficult to spot, mate. I've actually been inside slaughterhouses and out the front where the animals are on the trucks before they're going in to be murdered. And I've actually seen them crying. He does not give the slightest bit of shit, does he? <laughs> He's not even fucking staring at him. She just keeps going, talking shit. And who the fuck tells a child that, that you've been to a slaughterhouse? Who tells anyone that, actually? It's just a weird thing to say, isn't it? Oh, by the way, um, I've been to a slaughterhouse. Well, that's before sad. They have, before they have their head chopped off. Yeah, so you think that's but... sad? Yeah, but... So yeah, but what? Tell us the fucking butt, man. Why do you continue to eat animals and take their milk from them? That? that is the longest bag strap I've ever fucking seen. I suppose it makes it easier to catch someone if anyone tried to rob her. Like, they'll grab the bag, but it'll just be fucking trailing 20 metres behind them. Without the animal's choice. You take their choice away from them. Once human slavery was the way of life, that doesn't make it okay. I guess want to change. 
Yeah, Comparing human slavery to eating a fucking cheeseburger. Like, surely you see how it's a bit different. I wouldn't mind, but cows are literally black and white. So it is quite literally the fucking opposite. Instagram ban. Fucking Instagram as well. Fuck me, she's building a portfolio. In September 2021, her Instagram account got banned for violating guidelines. Possibly for nudity in some of her pictures. Fucking hell, you think? She made a video about it, talking about the situation. She stated that she didn't violate any guidelines as Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same company. And that Facebook is used for an older age group, while Instagram is sensitive to content. She also stated that in one of her posts, she compared a photo with James Aspy. Asp I don't fucking know. I don't care. While her being topless. The only difference is that the nipples were censored and were covered up by stars. I mean, that's a pretty significant difference though, isn't it? Hers were censored. Yours were. I think I figured out the problem here. You see, she spends that much time chatting shite about pigs and cows. She started to lose the slight bit of common sense she had left. That's probably not even the reason you got banned. It might have been a factor, but I reckon Instagram just had enough for your shit. <laughs> Christmas protest arrest. Oh, just have a day off. Christmas is backwards in Australia as well, because the fucking sun's out. On December 24th, 2023, a day after doing a Christmas protest, she was arrested by Australian police and was charged with criminal damage and disorderly conduct. She claimed that the fake blood from the criminal damage charge isn't permanent and can be washed. Off. She appeared in court on January 8th, 2024. Didn't we just fucking watch that? Is your Christmas going to be a holocaust? It's just the fact that she's like, oh, it's not permanent. It washes off. Like the police are going to be like, oh, that's fine then, love. Have a great Christmas. Like that's just not how it works, I'm afraid, Tash. That's like me going in your back garden and taking a shit. And then me going, no, don't worry. It's not permanent. You can pick it up. You'd be like, yeah, but you still took a shit in my garden. <laughs> Animal abusers, total losers. Are you? Why do you honestly can do you, it? Can you leave me alone, please? Why do you honestly do it, though? Ah, oh, Tash, what the fuck are you doing? Calling a child an animal abuse for stroking a fucking pony. I bet the kid's thinking that she lost her fucking head. I'm stroking it. Because I'm speaking up for the ponies who can't speak for themselves. Sticking up for the ponies? If the pony could talk, it would tell you to fuck off. Take a look honestly, at her. They're a stronger what animal than what me and you are. Does that justify enslaving them because How they're they stronger? Enslaved? The horse is being stroked by a little child. Yeah, How but is that being enslaved? Yes, but it's got a dress up costume, but you yep, wear a costume that... every day as well. You see, this is why I like Australians. Stretch the fucking point. But I will say, this head does look like the end of a fully chalked pool cue. And you may look like something, but I just thought then, yeah, I could get a clean break of his fucking head. <laughs> I do that at my own will. Do, you, uh, do they reckon, consent to this? Can they give if the consent? Choice, if it had a choice <clears throat> and it could have a voice of its own, I reckon. Wait, I don't think it You think that pony is an it? Well, it is an it. I don't know its name. You're an it to me as well. Really? Yeah. And to me, to be fair, I still haven't quite figured out what the fuck it is. Yeah, I don't, what gender do you classify yourself as? She. She? Yeah. So do I. Well, even though you've quite fucking clearly got a cock and bollocks, you are more of a woman than her. I'll give you that. So you believe they consent to having children ride on their backs? Have you heard of breaking in a horse and the process I have heard of that? Of breaking, I have broken have, in a horse. You have done that? I have done that. You don't consider that to be abuse and exploitation? Oh, this because a child stroking a fucking pony. Luckily, Paul Q isn't stupid and just told her. No, I'm asking you, is it really worth it holding up some provocative science so that you can film people for your YouTube channel? Oh, she might as well give up. She's already lost this argument. Like, you can just tell this guy, like, reads books and shit, you know, using words like provocative. Like, I wouldn't have said that. I'd have just called it shit. I'm here to stop animal abuse and the animal holocaust. Why don't you actually help other people? Because I'm helping non-human people. Actually, no. Um, why, don't you, why don't you tell this to her? Why don't you go over to her and say that animals are more... I'm talking about... You. Yeah, so it's basically pointing to a homeless woman and saying, okay, so you want to help pigs and cows? What about people, love? I told you we'd win. He probably planted the homeless woman there himself just to win the argument. Babies and mothers! Murdered so you can consume dairy because of your selfish taste buds. Taste does not justify murder. No. You think you're really- Oh my fucking god. That is one of the worst haircuts I've ever seen in my life. Oh mate, what have you done? Are you going back to get it finished? Because that, that is fucking awful. Like I can't not look at it now. It's that bad. It's took my attention of what she's saying. It's funny, but you're actually showing how triggered you are. Like, I mean, how more triggered could you get? Do you feel like a big man eating macerated babies in front of me? Oh, fucking hell. It's just as bad on the front. No matter what way it fucking looks, his barber's made sure to make it look shit. The thing is, he's trying to mug her off, but it just can't work with that haircut. Like, anyone else would have been fine. Say that I'm making a fool of myself, but you're literally making the biggest fool of yourself. Hey, do you want some? No, I don't want to eat a murder victim. What? 
Yeah, this is a weird one because I think this is the first time the person confronting her looks more of a bell end than her. But at the same time, she just called a fucking kebab macerated babies. You think you're really funny, but you're a pathetic fucking animal abuser. Do you want to bought, love? I reckon I've watched like an unsafe amount of this woman because it can't be good for you, can it? If you enjoyed this video, clip this playlist here. And to be fair, watching this guy with a shit haircut eat some macerated babies has made me pretty hungry, so I'm probably going to order one. <laughs> you don't consider that to be abuse and exploitation?